Hello, hello, infinite souls. Welcome back to another podcast episode. I am so, so happy because I have a very special guest on today, the one and only David Wong, the G Master. <laughs> wow. Hey, Luna. What's, What's what? up? David, say hi to the people. Hello, everyone. The people. Hey, the people. <laughs> oh my gosh david i'm excited to have you here thank you for being on the show for taking yeah. time out of your busy busy schedule because i know you're a busy man and mm -hmm. thank you for being on here um i have an icebreaker question as always when i have guests on and it's yeah. a very simple question okay but i like to catch you by surprise so here it goes what are you grateful for what am i grateful for I'm grateful for I'm good looking, I'm healthy, I'm smart, I'm talented, I have a beautiful wife, beautiful home, I live in a beautiful city, and I'm blessed with lots of abundance and joy. I was able to heal myself. I am superhuman now with my health and my mental and spiritual and emotional and metaphysical abilities that I have been able to unlock in my brain. So I have so many things to be grateful for. I have amazing friends like you, and I can go on and on and on and on. But there's so many things I'm grateful for. And grateful for all the things that are coming to you, coming to us, all the beautiful prosperity, the abundance, and high vibrational resonance that we're gonna be experiencing in our lives. Yes, Ooh, that is the best answer I think I've ever gotten on the show. Oh, oh, don't let anybody hear it. Ah. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes, we, I, I could, I had say no more. I need to say no more after that. <laughs> Thank you for being on here. Thank you. I'm grateful for our friendship as well. Thank you for being on the show thank you for life thanks just i'm grateful for life i was i was expressing gratitude today for life i like to do a list every day and today was just life like just in general just everything you know appreciation is what i'm is what i'm beginning to feel so i really love it um so you did mention that you healed yourself and that was one of the things that you're grateful for. And I really want to get into how you did that um, and how you were sick and um, or or what you healed yourself from. Um, but I also want to begin with your story a little bit because I want people to get to know you if they are not familiar with you already, um, if maybe they are then they're going to hear the story again, but I want to hear it. And, and I'm sure there's people out there who will benefit from hearing from the story. So please let us know, David, where do you come from? How did you begin? And how did you get into all this? And, and how did you heal yourself and all that? Well, Just yeah, where are you beginning? Uh, it's a good story. It's inspirational. So I was chronically ill for 10 years of my life. I had an incurable digestive disorder, all sort of colitis. There's no cure for this. And there's medication, but the medication I took was very expensive and also it gave me side effects and it didn't help me at all. It actually made my situation worse. And I went to all sorts of different doctors and experts and none of them helped me. And then I didn't want to get surgery because I knew that once you cut something out of your body, then basically it's gone and it's going to have permanent damage on your body. So I searched for different things. And at that time, I wanted to go in deeper into my spiritual life because I realized that you know, this body is still temporary. I, I need to find something deeper. I need to find deeper meaning in my life. So in my journey of studying meditation, I discovered meditation frequencies that allow me to go deeper into my meditations and give me altered states like instantly, like much faster than without it. And I say, wow, this stuff really works. Like what else is there? So I started to uh, experiment with these devices that also create frequencies. And long story short is in my process of um, going deeper into my spiritual life, I was able, I accidentally heal myself from my disease. So after 90 days of using electromagnetic therapy, I was completely healed from this illness I had for over 10 years. And ever since then, I 
I was completely changed. I was completely transformed. My life completely transformed. My energy levels shot through the roof. Before I was in chronic fatigue every day and pain every day. I suffered every day. And I, I changed from a life of darkness and depression and, and just, just really, really low quality of living to one of like super productivity, super creative, creativity, happiness, and abundance and everything in my life changed in my relationships um i relieved a lot and released a lot of the negative energy in my life and blockages and you know not only did i heal physically from the inside um, my entire life on the outside healed as well as well as um spiritually i was way more connected my intuition once again was skyrocketed and it was just completely same. It's like having a different, I was just a different person. Um, and ever since then, I said I had to use this um, technology and use this discovery that I made to help other people because there's many people who are suffering, many people who need to uh, heal, and, or many people that are not suffering. Maybe they're doing great, but they want to access their superhuman abilities. They want to take themselves to a higher level of resonance and vibration. They want to unlock their super human mind and access those you know, even deeper states of mind. And that's what I um, want to do. I want to help people transform themselves 1% a day, improve themselves to become what they were meant to be and to achieve their full potential. Yes. Oh my God. You're doing a lot. You're, 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 you're doing a lot for everybody. And thank you for everything that you do for the collective. That's that is an amazing story. I'm I'm glad that you I'm happy that you were able to heal yourself and that you're here today to share this story. I want to know a little bit about who who you were when you were younger. Did you were you always into did you know about meditation always or is this something that came you came across as you were older? Right. So when I was 10, I had a near death experience. I fell over some railings and then hit my head uh, on the railings below. It was a two-story building. And then um, I basically crushed my skull. I went immediately to the hospital, I was rushed into the emergency room, and there was so much blood, they had to like pump out all the blood. They had to take out all the fragments of skull that was all fractured in my head. And I undergone surgery. And then uh, at that time, I only had a 50% chance of survival. And even if I did survive, the doctor said that I would never lead a normal life. I would probably have brain damage. But luckily, what happened was I recovered and I survived. And actually, there was nothing wrong with my brain. But ever since then, I felt that there was something different in my life. I felt like there was a, a voice in my mind or I felt more spiritually connected somehow. At that time I was young, I was only 10 or 11 years old. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just my imagination or just my mind playing games with me. But later on I discovered that, you know, I actually activated some of the, um, you know, higher chakras in, in my body and, um, and activated some, some spiritual connections with the higher power at that time. And um, ever since then I've had this sensitivity or this intuition or this connection with, uh, with God, you know, I was also, also raised as a Christian and, um, it made me a little bit different from everybody else. So I was, al I've always been a seeker. I've always been someone who wants to seek the truth, even at a young age. And I always kind of saw things in a more of a spiritual sense rather than, you know, what's physical and what's material. Mm -hmm. So that's my childhood. And from that point on, I think that just kind of directed my life towards um, seeking more of the truth, seeking more of God, seeking more of what is reality and what is there beyond just the physical realm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. Wow. What a freaking story. Oh, my gosh. That that's very it's traumatic. It's it's it's. um it's a major, major trauma, not only to the body, but, you know, to the experience, to the human experience, which is the soul. So um, I'm sure because I, I believe that a lot of diseases or things that happen in the body, like um, chronic illnesses, um, 
they begin with something emotional or spiritual or some type of trauma that you're holding on in the body that is energetic and then it builds up so much that it becomes something physical that's what i believe as a reiki healer with the people that i work with and healing myself i've noticed that connection so i wonder if that if that is connected somewhat with what you were sick with and i want to know more about what that disease or that illness because i'm not familiar with it mm -hmm. so if you can explain a little bit yeah i'm i'm yeah i'm pretty sure that it was connected to my emotional health at that time because um in my 20s i was quite successful in real estate um, you know, I was already investing in properties, flipping houses when, in my 20s. So um, I made a lot of money at that time, my age. But then I started to uh, follow this guy who he was supposed to be like a, like a guru and a mentor to me. And long story short is that he was just a con artist and he was lying about what he's, he was. Mm -hmm. And I lost all my money to him. And, uh, and then at that point, um, my life was, <laughs> just went downhill. Uh, and uh, I was going into depression. I lost confidence. I, you know, didn't go out and stay home. Uh, and then, you know, lots of things just went downhill, and my health started to suffer from that point. Uh, probably from all the stress and from all the anxiety and the depression, it, it really screwed up my digestion. So, so what ulcerative colitis is, is that your intestines bleed and they don't stop bleeding. So you're always uh, bleeding. You can't really go out because you have to make sure that there's a bathroom nearby. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you have a situation. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of people suffering from this. Uh, there's 600,000 people searching the term ulcerative colitis mm -hmm. in just the United States every month. So a lot of people suffer from this for decades. So I would only suffer for 10 years. I thought it was a long time, but there's many people who've been suffering for 50 years of their life mm -hmm. or 30 years of their life. And they live with this. And a lot of them have accepted it. All of them have, you know, have surgery, but still a lot of them, uh, that, that doesn't actually help the situation. It doesn't do much. Mm -hmm. uh, and some cases it's so bad that they have to wear a bag mm -hmm. with them and they're bedridden and they can't do anything. So, um, yeah. So when you're you're draining yourself from literally life force of blood every day, mm -hmm. you um, you have no energy. You can't do anything. You can't focus. You have brain fog. Your none of your body processes work properly, and your digestion doesn't work properly. So even if you take herbs or medicines, your body doesn't absorb it because your digestion is screwed. Mm -hmm. So there's no cure for this, and people take medications, injection, surgery, and they still can't get rid of the problem or maybe they manage it a little bit but then they still have you know this issue that ruins their life so i'm so happy that i was able to heal myself and when people i tell people that they don't believe me because they accept they have accepted in their life that there's no cure or they just listen to their doctors and doctors obviously doctors go by what medicine has found so far which is no cure so when I tell them, yeah, I heal myself, there's basically a couple of different responses. Like I said, one day says, I'm, I'm, it, you know, it didn't work. It just happened. I'm just in remission somehow. And, and it's, you know, they just don't understand how, how it could happen. Or they say, wow, this is interesting. Let me look into what you actually did. And this the technology you do, you're using that nobody else really is using. Maybe there's something to it. Mm -hmm. So um so that's what i'm finding and then the people that do use it that you do use my technology they're experiencing some radical transformations in their lives beyond just physical healing right um they're experiencing all the changes that i talked about they're experiencing higher intuition they're experiencing like better mood they're experiencing better relationships because it opens up not just um your physical body opens up your chakras opens up your hearts opens up your mind. I was just talking to Hannah Hall Halliday, who's also using my technologies, and she's saying using the mind, heart and mind connection is one of the most powerful frequencies she's ever used. And it was just so intense, like the heart, connecting the mind and the heart um, using the technology. It's just basically she says it can do in just five minutes what it took like 30 minutes to an hour of meditation. 
uh, would have done. So um, there's that as well. And there's a, another group of people, um, husbands or wives that have kids that want to change something in their spouse or their partner or change something in their kids. And they've been trying to get them to do something like exercise more or like take vitamins or supplements or like get more active or improve themselves in some way, take some course. Obviously, none of them want to do it. Their kids don't do, listen to them. <laughs> them doesn't do anything. So what they do is they, they out use my technology. I don't know if this is like, um, you know, ethical or moral, but they because their technology, the coils have a field. <laughs> they have a field, right? So like this one can cover a uh, ten square foot. Um, no more than that. Like about hundred square feet. Then they're just using this for themselves. That one specific kind of, one can do hundred square feet. Um, yeah, so about hundred square feet. So they're just using this themselves. And because this has an energy field, it makes an electromagnetic field. The husbands are doing something near them. So while they're getting the therapy, their husbands are, you know, inadvertently getting the therapy too. So so the so the feedback I get is like, wow, my husband's treating me better for some reason, or my husband's a little bit more calm. <laughs> or, he, or he has less complaints or he uh, sleeps better and he doesn't wake up at night so even though like it is the, uh, the 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 woman that is using it the husband is getting the effect and that husband doesn't even know he's getting the therapy right yeah. or, the, or the kids are starting to behave yeah. better right even though the kids are not actively doing anything uh -huh. they're getting that therapy because this is just in the house but because this is just on in the room so so that's something really neat that um people are starting telling me telling me happening right now that's awesome yeah for those those of you who are only listening audio what he's holding up to the camera is the technology called the chi coil what he invented um you invented that after you healed yourself right this and this came to you um it was a download well, yeah, um, basically, um, just taking different ideas and just combine it into one technology, because my training was uh, in engineering, in music, and um, also in Qigong, energy healing, and martial arts, right? And I have a very creative and, you know, aesthetic kind of uh, talent. So what I do is I just combine all those things into a new technology, which is patent pending, by the way. Uh, into into this. So now there is the engineering of building the coils and the structure of it, the aesthetic design, the metaphysical aspects of the direction of the yin and the yang, the crystal energy, the frequencies and the software. I developed uh, 1700 apps on the app store. So I know how to develop software and um, electronics. So basically I just took my skills and then developed something new that, that hasn't really existed before. Um, so that's how I, how I developed it. So at that time when I healed myself, I had a very rudimentary system that I made myself. Um, and then eventually I improved it. And this is the, the uh, fourth rendition of the technology that I originally used. And we're, you know, all uh, improving it all the time. We're adding new things, new frequencies, improving the design and the system as we go yeah uh it's freaking awesome i've been using it as well and i was telling hannah as i was talking to hannah about it i told her yeah you can feel it when it's on because she wasn't sure if it was on or not i said you will feel it <laughs> if it's on you will definitely feel it. there was one specific frequency i don't know which one it is that i listened to that day but the energy that was coming out of out of the coils felt like the best way that I could describe it was wet, like a wet energy. It just felt like, I don't know where it was at. That's just how it felt. It was weird. But the, it, it, it just so every and I've been trying different ones because there's tons of them. So I have, you know, specific ones that I like to use, but I want to play around with it so I'm just playing around and, and listening to all of them and I use it with my Reiki clients this technology and they benefit from it uh, because it puts them in a relaxed state uh, almost immediately <laughs> I you know I see them go in like 
maybe like three minutes or something, you know, um, and where I just feel them like calm and relaxed. And so, and I know that this technology, if you're using it, right, and it's covering this, this toroidal energy field, right? And so your partner and your kids get benefit from that. But not only because of the the actual device, because you use the device and then when you stop using it and you go out in your day, you still carry that resonance with you inside of your body, right? And so you resonate that energy and the people around you benefit from that naturally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like we're not, we're like crystals. Like our body's made of water and water essentially is a crystal as well so when we have a certain resonance we resonate um and we have a field we have a bio field around us so there's you know whatever whoever's around us they feel that aura they'll be affected by it you know they will be transformed or retuned by it depending on how strong your aura is so yeah you use this technology you're kind of like charging up your aura so when you go out you still have this charge you still have this um um like uh, battery inside of you that's still still producing this energy in your bio field yeah yeah definitely dude thank you what what did you study uh you bioengineering you said that you studied no i i started engineering at oh, the sorry. university of british columbia i had a ten thousand dollar full scholarship to study engineering which very few people got and i quit because i didn't want to work a job yeah <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an entrepreneur by heart yeah. so i didn't want to work a job so i quit engineering and i said i'm just going to study what i like to do which is music so i studied music at Campbell Island college and then i have a you know like a diploma in, in music um you know i can play piano jazz piano i sing and uh, you know i play guitar and things like that um so so that's my training and um i'm good at math obviously and, and mm -hmm. software development i just learned on my own through through a company i i had that developed um like app, app store apps or google play apps so Amazing. a lot of this is just through and the key thing is not just knowing all these things the key thing is being able to be sensitive and experience the energy coming from this and just like you and having the sensitivity to know, okay, this is what this is and describe it. And this is feels a certain way. And this is, a, you know, activating a certain part of my body or giving a certain consciousness experience to be able to um, decipher what's actually going on with these frequencies. That's the key. Because some people are less sensitive than others, but I was gifted with that sensitivity, probably because of my accident when I was young um, or just because I was born with it. I think that's the key because there's many engineers out there, there's many musicians out there, but none of them really create a technology like me. So um, I think the key is to really have that sensitivity while having all those skills as well in order to know whether the technology works or not and know exactly what is it doing to the body or your mind or your consciousness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you also, you had the desire to want to help other people to want to share that healing ability of healing those frequencies that gave you that download, you know, that divine inspiration of like, oh, hey, make this technology. Yeah. And, and that's freaking awesome. Uh, I want to go back to something that you had said earlier, when you were talking about other people who have this similar illness and other similar illnesses um, and that they just accept it right I think the the difference is that you didn't accept it that you opened your mind up to the possibility of you being able to be healed and to heal yourself or even just if somebody just opens up their mind just a little bit to the possibility that something else outside exists or maybe give it a try, let's see what happens, you know, then I think that, that that's the first step, like that is the difference between you continuing to be sick, or continuing to have the same life that you don't like, or creating, co-creating a new reality, a new life, healing yourself, 
um, and reversing whatever disease or illness that you have. Mm -hmm. um, although I don't don't doubt that there are real diseases and real illnesses that that people are dealing with. It's very real for you, you know, and I think it is real. And and some things sometimes are just like you just can't do anything about it, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. But but I think I, me personally, I believe that you can heal anything, mm -hmm. anything from the body. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. In my book, I, I talk about that in my book, The Life of Qi. Qi is spelled Q-I, by the way, not C-H-I, like a Q-I. So it's already a number one bestseller. Um, awesome. So you guys can get it. And I talk about how I envision, and I probably a lot of people envision this too, is in the future, we don't need um, medication. In the future, we don't need surgery. We just need frequencies. And they can be various different types of frequencies. They can be magnetic, they can be sound, they can be ultrasound, they can be light, they could be um, evil, even um, chi energy or subtle energy frequencies. So, and, and it could be a combination of those things, which is actually what I have now. I combine all these things into uh, these technologies and these systems so that the body can heal itself. It, it can reverse aging. It can make your skin look a lot younger. It can make you lose weight. So it's like you can choose your body because you can, it's actually proven frequencies can alter how your genes and DNA express themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, how, and that's a pretty big statement, right? You can yeah. alter how your genes can express themselves. Your DNA can express itself. So that means if you can change your DNA, you can change every aspect of yourself. You can change how you look, how, how young you are and how well your body performs. And, and um, that's pretty amazing. And you can do that with frequencies now. We have the technology to do it. So it, it's very sh shortly in the future is that um, a lot more mainstream or conventional doctors will start to implement this into their practices. Uh, there's a lot of integrative doctors that are doing that right now, right? They're integrating all these energy healing practices, these technologies, um, new kinds of, um, you know, herbs and things like that, and natural medicine, along with their regular conventional methods as well. So they combine them, and, and because sometimes one thing will work better than the other, but the, the general, you know, direction is that people are going more towards these natural non-invasive methods that do not harm the body and that do not have side effects so uh, very nearly in the future we'll be able to detect and I'm, i actually have a system when my that that has a potential to automatically send you frequencies to your body whenever you need it on a schedule so you don't even have to turn it on it'll just send it to you on a schedule so let's say in the morning, you need something to give you extra energy, help you wake up. At nighttime, you need something to help you sleep better. Or in the daytime, you need something to give you more creativity or more uh, confidence or more energy or more focus. We actually have a technology that can do that. We can send you energy on a schedule. So you're getting this all the time. And the great thing, like I said, about the husbands, wives, or partners, <laughs> or kids, or even pets, is they don't listen to you, right? So, <laughs> So you can just schedule this therapy to send to them automatically every day, whether they like it or not. And they're going to get that therapy <laughs> without wow. even knowing if they don't want to. I don't know if this is like ethical. That's like invading, <laughs> invading your personal Yeah, I'll leave aura. this to your, your decision whether this is ethical or not, but um, it's possible. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you. So you want your kids to do better in school? You want them to focus better? Well, we have a frequency that you can send to them or just maybe put it next to their room or, or target the house with it and, and just play it in the background and everybody gets benefit from it, right? Or you want your husband to um, be calmer and be less stressed uh, from work and, and uh, regenerate more and be, be more and have more energy have more focus and that we have frequencies for that so you can play that in the house they don't even need to be privy that it's actually playing but whether they like it or not whether they're aware of it or not they will be getting that 
positive energy. That's the that's the cool thing that my technology can do that I don't think there's much other out there that can really do. Uh, and if they can, they won't be able to do it to the effectiveness that we can. It's just our frequency is just way more advanced than any, pretty much everything that you hear you hear about or try out there. Um, because the, the my team is just a world class team of scientists and um, and inventors. And they've been at their game for over 20 years, and they're unsurpassed with their level of like level of um, um, advancements in their in their technologies. So, yeah, and I'm very, very grateful for that, too, by the way, I have a really amazing team of people. Yes, we're grateful for your team. Thank you. Thank you. We're thankful for that team. Yeah, I, we need to send some gratitude to them for sure these just the way that um the brain works <laughs> it's amazing yeah. oh my gosh so we have been talking for a while now um is there anything specific that's on your mind that you want to talk about um that you would like to touch on before we I do want to ask you one thing though before before I I close off the show. Um, that technology that you were talking about that you can send frequencies that exists already. You have that already. Yeah, I haven't shown you yet. <laughs> that exists. You're saying <laughs> it, it exists. It's not some sci-fi. We have code. it. It's, work, it's working now. We have it right now. We've actually we had it for a, a few months now. We've been. We've been doing a lot of beta testing, but now it's it's out. It's ready. We've done the tests. We've worked on it for uh, about a year. So it's called Qi Energy. So I think AI. I did a test before so, um, that I got an email from from you guys. Is that what it was that you sent? Possibly. So um, yeah, it's called Qi Energy AI. You can, I'll give you a link later that you can send to your group. But what it is, is the world's most powerful automated quantum healing. Quantum healing. Can yeah. you explain for people listening what, what's the difference between, you know, quantum healing? Well, you know, okay, if you, whether you believe or not, um, remote healing works. It's been tested many times, right? A group of people, they just have a picture of someone and then send healing energy. Um, and they don't even know where this person is, they don't even know the person's name, that person gets healed. Okay, so um, basically we dig digitized that process. So we're able to send protection energy, or we can send healing energy, or we can send energy to um, improve somebody's total body wellness, just directly to somebody's phone or to directly to somebody's home. Oh. So this is something that a lot of people don't believe can work, but what we do is we have a demonstration webpage. So people can go to the website, they click on the demonstration page, and they can actually feel that webpage broadcast that energy with, while they're on that webpage. So I don't want to convince anybody that it works. I want you, or whoever is going to go to that website to go to that page and tell me that you don't feel something coming from the page. Okay? <laughs> so if you don't feel something from the case, then okay, yeah, then you maybe maybe it doesn't work. But if you do, then you convince yourself that it's working. Okay, so that's what I would you know generally like to do with my technologies is I can talk all day about all the benefits and everything, but until you experience it, until you feel it, and you feel it working on your body without a doubt it's not your placebo effect it's not your like mental like effect or some kind of just your like uh just just your mind playing games with you you know for sure so wait a minute this is something really strong this is not from myself this is not from my mind it's not placebo i really feel this yeah. from turning it on and i and turn off the web page and then i stop feeling it so it must be that web page so i want people to convince themselves that this thing's real and that um even though it may be like something from the future, I'm showing you today that it exists and it's working and you can experience it right now. Uh, and that just blows people's minds away. 
when they realize that it's possible and that it actually exists and actually works, then their minds get blown. You can say, wow, if this is real, think about what can happen, and how we can use this. So we, so it's available. You can try it out. It's free. That way patient I'm talking about uh, is free. You can go there and you, I want you to tell me you can't feel something from it, from that page. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got to give me the link to that page. So you're yeah. using the field then, right? Like, because we're all connected. We're all connected if you believe we are all exactly. one. Yeah, it's based on, it's quantum healing. So, um, I mean, I can go into all the nitty gritty science details <laughs> like that. But yeah, it, basically we are accessing the field. Yeah. Okay, so the field or the universal field, a zero point field or whatever you want to call it, is... Um, is infinite energy and we're all connected to it our consciousness is all connected even our everybody's connected every atom in existence is all connected to the universal field and there's no distance or time that it separates one thing from another we are all connected at the same point yeah so basically what our technology does is we access that field and we're able to send it to anyone or any person or any phone or any address that we want. Mm -hmm. And the key thing is that we can do this with our consciousness. We can do this with our minds when we meditate or when we do energy healing or whatever we do. Mm -hmm. But now I'm able to digitize that experience because I'm able to con connect the ancient wisdom with the technology, the science and technology. Mm -hmm. And one of the only people that can successfully do that on a uh, on a repeatable and consistent way that people can can use. Okay, yeah. so so when when somebody uses that, they say, "Wait a minute, this field is real because this technology <laughs> wouldn't work if there, there was no field. This technology yeah. only works because it's using the field somehow in a digital way. So what if we can?" use this technology and affect the whole planet it's possible or affect everybody in the world it's possible so i want you guys to think about that after this interview the mm -hmm. most important thing is we're in a cusp where we're under attack um the world is attacking us the elites you know the people in power uh corporations whatever right the governments we're under attack they're taking away our power they're taking away our health they're taking away our freedoms of travel, of even our own bodies. So we need some kind of technology to protect ourselves. And what some kind of technology that they can't take away from us, that's invisible, right? Because you get equipment, some, maybe they might confiscate it from you, who knows, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Or they might, um, I don't know, right? Crazy things have happened. If they lose it, I would lose it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that that would happen, right? But I'm saying like, what if there's a technology that nobody can take away from you? Like, like we know that no one can take away our prayers. Nobody can take away our, our meditation. Nobody can take away what we do in our minds. They're trying to, actually. They're trying to control our minds, but- Mass, mass. But, yeah. but we have to control, we have to control. So what if you can enhance that, enhance your own personal power with a technology that is invisible? So that's, that's, that's what I'm seeing happening. And when every when there's going to be like thousands of people, millions of people using this, then we're going to change the vibration frequency of the, of the planet. Because you only need a small percentage of the, of the world's planet to make a, make a dramatic butterfly effect throughout the whole, whole planet, right? Wow. Yeah. I mean, I literally have chills. <laughs> when you, when you say that, I get chills. <laughs> um that's freaking amazing so i know that you can do this the field is very real you guys the field is real you can affect the field because my actually my teacher who who taught me reiki um when she attuned me she attuned me virtually because it was online and so the attunement happened through the field you know I, I all I did was just sit there maybe in meditation um but she even said that I didn't have to sit in meditation she just suggested that you work in a calm state but but you didn't have to you know um it, you would still get that attunement yeah. 
Yeah. So so it's amazing, and and you definitely feel feel the difference. And when I do energy work and I send it overnight when somebody is asleep and then they wake up and they're like oh my god I feel so much better today or my back doesn't hurt or whatever so the energy is real you guys mm -hmm. and this technology is assisting us to access that field and to benefit from the field and connect with others as well through the field which I which I think is one of the most important things that that we uh, begin to open up our hearts, you know, so that we can connect with each other because the heart is the portal to everything, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, David, I've, I've had so much fun talking to you. Um, we still have a little bit of time. If you have anything else that you want to mention, the floor is yours. Okay. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I just think that we need to connect more and that's the key right when more people that have your vision and that have your uh, talent or your, your, your dream um connect you know as a community as a group we can achieve more we can change more people's lives we can help more people so uh, i just want to see you successful and see you grow and and, and touch more people's lives and and i want to see more leaders I want to see more leaders, um, you know, raise the torch and and make a difference and take a charge, do do what you're doing. So I just really look forward to to that and seeing that happen. And uh, you know, my specialty is to develop these technologies to support people like you, support leaders and support people communities like this, so that they can really supercharge and shortcut and uh, accelerate what they're doing inside themselves and in their communities. So I'm just glad that um, I'm part of it. Yes, may we all thrive together. There's a saying that my friend says, everybody eats, everybody eats. I love that. And like David said, it's time for you to step up, step your game up, step up to the plate and be who you were meant to be. You know, you were holding yourself back. You're the only one holding yourself back. I think people need to hear that. So thank you for that. Thank you for being my dear friend. Thank you for everything that you do for the collective. You've, I'm, I'm sure you've touched so many people's lives. You've touched mine. And I hope that we were able to touch some, people, some more lives today during the show, whoever listens, whenever you're listening, because time is an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah david let us know what are your what are your handles where can people find you in social media okay if you go to the link use the chi.com so use the qi.com all my socials are there you can learn about everything we talked about the chi coils chi energy ai even the demo page i talked about all the links are on there thank you so much for being on david thank you everybody for listening Oh my gosh, I hope that everybody has a beautiful Friday when you're listening to this. And as always, mucho, mucho love and light. Bye. Bye. Ciao.